negative organization of our environment. But what if I ask you to consider a thought that maybe our response to negative information is outdated? What if we're using, um, an analyzing negative information in a way that was needed maybe 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 years ago when um, uh, the environment and our world was not as advanced in technology and um, medical advancements were not as great. And so what if we're using a adaptive uh, behavior that was learned from our previous generations and we're using the same adaptive processes. And and what if, may I ask you to consider that because we are using um, out-of-date adaptation processes, that that may be contributing to um, anxiety, stress, um, burnout, um, because maybe these are signs and symptoms that it's time to change. It's time to look at how we're taking care of ourselves or not taking care of ourselves. Research has indicated that the um, our, med- our medical model has really focused on the negative effects of negative information, negative communication, um, f- you know, f- as far as uh, focused in on the disease effects of negative uh, communication, negative information, our education system, and um, also um, the the focus of many mental health professionals has been on uh, disease management of of clients to help them overcome negative effects from negative experiences because of negative communications. And it seems, according to uh, research, and I will put this also this information in my uh, this resource in the description, but it it says that. Uh, you know, our medical field has lost the focus of creating thriving societies. I mean, you know, when you're in the medical field, you're you're dedicated to bringing and helping patients back to a wellness state, uh, and you and you are helping them gain independence. But now, I think it's time to help in the wellness state and in the very educational systems to help foster and to educate our society in a positive mindset and positive language. Although, and you may have experienced this as well in your world, many times it's easy for us to come up with negative language, negative thoughts, as compared to positive languages or positive thoughts. And that part, uh, the researchers feel, is um, an adaptive, the brain kind of tunes in to what's going on wrong because that is an adaptive response. You know, back in the days of... um, you know, there's lots, lots of threats and, you know, a lot of hunting for your food. Well, not you, but back in the day. <laughs> and they had to be aware and very cognizant of dangers. And so maybe the positive uh, side of how to develop our positive awareness has not been given um, much attention to help develop a more positive mindset. So rather than, you know, as many uh, training institutions and not not maybe intentionally, but instead of focusing on punishing mistakes uh, and using negative language 
and using different types of pathological language to to uh, a label um, individuals, maybe we as professionals and educators can dedicate ourselves to take a step farther and increase hope and optimism and honesty within our world. That's just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I think part of mindfulness is looking at ourselves. And so I I ask you to take this time to pay attention, to bring your awareness. What kind of language are you using in your world, in your home, in your office, in yourself? I think self-awareness is a very important place to start. And so I'd like to stop right here and and bring our uh, session to a close and invite you to join me again next time as we continue to look at ways to improve the happiness uh, world score within ourselves, within our own world. I look forward to talking to you again next time. Have a great day. Be sure and pick up a copy of Eartha's new book, Tab Mindfulness, Awareness and Coloring Activities in a Pandemic World. It's not just an ordinary coloring book. It features 23 illustrations to stimulate thought, relaxation, and creativity for anyone between the ages of 4 and 94. Increase your positive self-talk energy. Unlock new creative paths. Transform your time once or twice a week to create beautiful art while strengthening confidence, building positive self-talk, and sensitize self-awareness. Tab Mindfulness, Awareness and Coloring Activities in a Pandemic World. It's available now at Amazon.com.